Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to give you another glitch effects plugin. Now this is different from the last one because the previous glitch effect is about transition, but this one is actually about actual effects. So you can just apply on the clips. So before the start of everything, as usual, please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video and drop a comment to tell me what you want to see next for any effects or transitions or anything your comment is like my source of inspiration so it's really really important and your subscription and likes are my motivation so please remember to do all these steps before continuing to watch this video thank you a lot so Please remove just the download from the description, it's a Google Drive link. You just download and unzip the pack. After that, you can see that LC glitch the folder is over here. Let's just double click on this and see that all the things are inside, five of them, five glitch effects. And after that, how do you install? It's very simple, just copy the entire folder and go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates and just paste it in the effects folder over here just like this and restart the Final Cut Pro and go to the effects tab and you should be able to see the LC glitch effects you know, sub tab under the videos uh, column over here and you can see that the five pandas over here <laughs> And that's all about installation and how do you apply them is quite simple as well you can just select one of them and drag it onto your clip like this it's applied automatically and all these five plugins are sort of customizable so you can just go to the inspector over here and maybe you know change the settings so the default one is having an opacity of 34 percent with a little bit of jitter effect already applied such as twists horizontal and vertical shake but they are at a very very minimal value and obviously you can always change the grains waviness stuff like that very simple and there's something called reaction it's actually sort of like a how serious this effect is going to you know look so if you don't really want to make it a very obvious one you can just put the reaction to be zero and if you want to make it a very obvious one just put it a hundred percent and for the opacity it's actually you know changing the entire layer of the glitch effect so in a low opacity mode once you hit play it looks something like this kind of cool actually but once you hit the opacity with a very high value it's going to be like this with a hundred percent reaction obviously you can bring down the reaction to be like this and it's going to be you know sort of like a mosaic kind of an effect you can always bring it to a middle value and bring up the waviness and grains something like that so it's kind so this is like the full effect with a little bit of jittering yep and let's show you the next effect say blocks I'm just gonna drag it and apply on my clip like this very simple and obviously you can always change the opacity so with a very low opacity it's going to look like this yep but with a higher opacity maximum is going to look like this with a little bit of color on the glitchy blocks in the middle and everywhere actually and obviously you can always pump up the waviness the greens and even pump up the saturation so this is like kind of a all-in-one kind of a plug-in for your glitch effects and it's kind of cool and cinematic let me show you the rest of the plugins real quick so let's drop the scan lines over here. So for the default effect of scan lines is looking like this. And obviously you can always pump up the opacity. So the lines are, you know, a bit more clear. But I don't really like this. I like this effect to be a little bit more subtle. So I'm just gonna drop the opacity to zero. And you know, I really like this very subtle but very glitchy kind of effect. Very cool and of course you can always just pump up the horizontal vertical and twist to have a little bit more screen shake effect yeah so it's a little bit more unstable if you don't like screen shake you can always just you know, drop everything to zero for horizontal vertical and twist 
yeah so it's sort of like this with a little bit of shape but not that much and I'm gonna show you the last two effects real quick purple blocks obviously it's about the same and drop the opacity down or increase the opacity uh, it's going to create a kind of a very obvious screen shake sometimes you can see the black bars on the side of the screen usually you can just you know decrease the screen shake value or just scale the clip a little bit bigger so it doesn't really have those black bars at the side of the video at the borders of the video maybe the last one I think curly is very suitable for these you know, watery kind of scenes yeah, very wet scenes so let me just drop all the shape values and twist values and drop the opacity to the middle range and maybe bring down the reaction something like that and just hit play you know it's kind of cool obviously you can also apply to other clips so something like that very suitable for those you know wet scenes for curly and that's all of today's tutorial and the plugins sharing please remember to subscribe and like this video and drop a comment in the comment section to tell me what you want to see next so i can create a new plugin for you guys for free and then you can improve your video qualities at your fingertips thank you very much and bye bye